This Yasser Qadi should be shut down. His channel should be shut down. He should never be allowed to open his mouth about Islam. Wallahi, wallahi, this person is a disaster that has, has uh, uh, engulfed this ummah. No, no. If you want misguidance, if you want misguidance, listen to Yasser Qadi. If you want to be misguided, listen to Yasser Qadi. Yasser Al Qadi, I accuse you. You are worse than the layman people. You failed. You failed. Well, what's wrong with you? You used to be a good person before. But it's Allah who guides whom he will and misguides whom he will. Yes, Al Qadi, when you see him on a video, click X. When you hear him, close your ears. Lest you want to be uh, exposed to fitna, and then he will guide you a little bit and then misguide you a lot. This quote unquote renowned scholar, he's a da'i. He does not qualify to be a scholar. Of course, anything that Yasser Qadi says at this point is probably wrong. We are at a point with Yasser Qadi where if he says the sky is blue, I have to double check three, four times, making tremendous discoveries that no one else has ever made. Good stuff with bad stuff. What will resonate with you is the bad stuff that you don't know. There is not just one sheikh on the globe. There are hundreds of thousands. But the problem is if we keep on saying this one's bad, that one's bad, this one's bad, Take the goodness and leave whatever you consider an error. Leave it out. Take the good, leave the bad. How do you, how do you take the good, leave the bad? Do you know? Do you, everybody knows? Everybody who's listening to every sheikh knows what's good, what's bad? Does a sheikh give you a disclaimer that what I'm about to say is bad? No. Imam Malik ibn Anas says every single one, you take some of what they say and you have to discount some of what they say because of their human nature. Imagine Imam Malik ibn Anas rahmatullahi alayhi said this. How do you take the good, leave the bad? Do you know? Do you, everybody knows? Everybody who's listening to every sheikh knows what's good, what's bad? Does the sheikh give you a disclaimer that what I'm about to say is bad? No. I would advise Dr. Yasser Qadi to stop indulging in this because this is not his field. He's not an authority uh, to, to, to say. And my argument is very straightforward. So what if a lot of people said something, it doesn't make it right. The fact that 99% of your teachers say something doesn't mean it is the, the correct truth. The fact that you have not heard contrary and all the mashayikh you study with have not heard contrary means nothing. Very few people are brave enough or foolish enough, depending on how you want to look at it, because it comes with cons when you break away, right? To, to, to go outside the box and think for themselves. So what if a lot of people say something, it doesn't make it right. This is completely contrary to the usul in Islam. His criticism applies to the entire Islamic tradition. He is in one fell swoop just undermining the entire Islamic tradition. Yasser Qadi himself also informed us that he was quite the confrontational person. And as a result, a growing number of people perhaps distanced themselves from him. And that kind of prodded him to investigate his beliefs, but he didn't move on to another theological school. He's kind of without a theological madhab now. No, you cannot listen to Yasser Qadi about the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu You cannot listen to anything that Yasser Qadi says. I'm telling it to you flat out. You may not listen to anything that Yasser Qadi has to offer. Zero. Nada. Nothing. He has high qualifications. If Allah guides him, we will celebrate. Wallah. We will be very happy. If Allah guides him back to what he was upon, we will be his supporters. I would like his Facebook page and put links on my channel. The second opinion, which is now the opinion that I follow, is the opinion that invoking the saints, it is haram. And it is a stepping stone to shirk. It is opening the doors to shirk. But it is not shirk in and of itself, unless that action is accompanied by a belief that you're calling out to a God. It is accompanied by a belief that you are deifying that entity that you are uh, calling. But there's no people of knowledge today like Yasser Qadi who, you know, will come up with these new discoveries. Oh, oh, it's not shirk for you to call on someone uh, besides Allah unless you believe that he is Allah. Yani you must be as intelligent as a doorbell.
to, to even make the statement. This is the Maliki Madhab, uh, and it is also many of the Hanafi scholars and really a lot of the Shafi'i scholars of Egypt and Syria. Uh, and in the in terms of the strands of Sunnism, this is the default position of the Deobandi uh, movement as well. And it is also the position of many of the scholars of Al-Azhar and other famous institutions. I wish and pray that Allah Azza wa Jal will guide him. Allah guide him, Ya Rabbi guide him. And if Allah, if Allah doesn't have it in his decree to guide him, so that we don't have to hear him rant about any Islamic subject matter. From, from, from the accused Prophet Sallam of having ill intentions with Zainab bin Jahsh to now claiming that shirk is not shirk. What is left for this guy? Quran has, uh, the, the narrative of the Quran has holes in it. The standard narrative, what is left for this person? Look, very soon, very soon, I'm telling you, if you continue to listen to him very soon, there will be no more foundations of Islam. They're being, they're being destroyed in front of you one after the other. And if you say, no, 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 Sheikh, you are judging their intention. Excuse me? These people who keep on changing their colors according to the highest bidder. So if they're in America, they say what the Americans want to say, uh, to hear. Whatever draws followers. whatever draws followers and you should ask trusted scholars of aqeedah if you want to be saved well, what's wrong with you you used to be a good person before but it's allah who guides whom he will and misguide whom he will